guys, welcome back to Class with Cass. I'm Cassandra, and for those of you who don't know, I got into all eight Ivy League universities along with every other school that I applied for, all 17, which is crazy, but this is my channel where I give out tips and tricks for living your best student life, helping you out on your journey to college. So today, I thought I would break down why I think that I was able to get into all eight Ivy League universities from an essay perspective overview. So for those of you who are new, you can read all of my essays online for free at my website, link in the description below. And you can check out these videos that basically break down, you know, my Common App essay and some of my supplements. Today, I wanna to talk about why holistically my essays worked, you know, outside of my grades, my stats, um, my extracurricular list and on and on. So the first and most important thing to understand is the purpose of these essays, Common App and supplements included. So to me, what I like to tell my students is that the Common App essay is like the foundation for everything else in your application. It is the center of the spider web of you. Now that's kind of why the questions are so broad, right? And there's even one question that basically allows you to put whatever you want, right? If your essay doesn't quite fit into one of the other seven or six questions. The reason for this is because this is a space for your admissions officers to really get to know who you are, not what you do, right? Your supplements, some of the questions, really specific ones, are about what you do. And that is a space for you to talk about, you know, your extracurriculars, your volunteer work, et cetera. But your Common App essay has this really difficult job of capturing why you do what you do. It's not about what you do, although that can definitely play a part. The most important thing is your motive behind it. So I like to tell my students, what is the MO of, of you? Like what drives you? What makes you tick? What makes you get out of bed each morning to do what you do on, the, on a daily basis? So your Common App essay needs to capture that why? We need to understand what fuels you and what motivates you. So a little bit about me, in my Common App, I didn't talk about anything that I did. Now, I did a lot in high school. I was a poet, I was a playwright, I was a journalist, I had a lot of leadership experience under my belt, and yet I didn't talk about any of that, and you can watch those videos on my channel, by the way. Um, I talked about something that was kind of completely a little bit unrelated, seemingly so. Actually, here's the genesis of my Common App essay. I didn't write it intending to be my Common App essay. I just felt driven to write this creative nonfiction piece. And when I showed it to my mom, who it's, you know, it heavily features, she was the one who actually said, I think you should use this for your Common App essay. Now that surprised me, right? Because in my brain, shouldn't your Common App essay be more about like what you do? But in reality, your Common App essay is not a resume. Your resume is your resume. It is a story. It is a story that shows who you were, who you are, and who you want to be. Now, of course, I included the stuff that I did, right? My, some of my extracurriculars in my Common App essay, but that takes up like less than a paragraph of the entire thing, right? The rest of it is about my emotional journey, the lessons that I learned that really have nothing to do with um, my extracurriculars, but just shows a, paints a picture of who I was at that time and how I've grown and how I've changed. So for me, my MO at that time was to tell stories to make people feel less alone. So what my Common App essay did was capture why I feel that way and that why is so ingrained in my growing up experiences and also my mom's growing up experience. So now let's talk about supplements. What were some of my supplements about, the ones that I used and recycled the most? Okay, so I had some about volunteering in Sunday school. I use that for the UC essays. Um, I had one about playwriting. I had one about journalism. Uh, and I had another one that was a little more vague, a little more intellectual about my penchant for collecting stories. And that is the one that I often use to either tie into the why major or the why us question. So you see in my supplements, that's where I really got into the nitty gritty of what I did every day as like a high school student, how I spent a lot of my time. See, I knew that 
in my supplements, I would have to talk about a lot of my extracurriculars. So that's why I chose not to really focus my Common App on a specific extracurricular because I didn't want to play my hand too early. My guess is, you know, your admissions officers, they're going to read your Common App first, right? And then your supplements. So what I basically did in my Common App was kind of lay out some like seeds of what is to come, right? I briefly mentioned poetry, playwriting, journalism, that kind of thing, but I don't go into much detail because, you know, I, again, I don't want to play my hand too early. You'll find out more in my supplements. You know, I'm kind of like uh, drawing them in. Uh, oh, are you curious about me as a person? Like, read on. So there are two more things I want to share with you that I think helped me get into every school that I applied for. In my Common App essay, there is an emotional heartbeat. Um, now, it wasn't anything, you know, super traumatic or life altering. Really, it's just um, just kind of the some of the small grievances of life of being an immigrant. Right. And so that emotional heartbeat, though, is what fuels my motivation to become a storyteller. So that's that's one really important part of your common essay is finding the emotional why that drives you to do what you do. The second thing is that in my supplements, I wasn't afraid to have fun. I mean, you'll notice that universities kind of encourage it, right? They have weird supplement questions. They have short answer questions that you're like, why are you asking me what my favorite snack is? Or why are you asking me to write a letter to my roommate, right? The, the purpose of those supplements is to get to know more of your personality, right? You showed off one side of you in your common app. Now here's an opportunity to show off other parts of your personality so I mean I just had fun with a lot of my supplements especially the one about um, me being a secret spy you know like that was just a fun way for me to talk about journalism and talking about um, how I interviewed a lot of celebrities in Hollywood and things like that so have fun with your supplements like don't take it too seriously and you know so many students across the states like they're probably gonna have the same extracurriculars as you Right, like let's be honest. So what is a way that you can write your experience and make it unique to you? A lot of it comes through in your tone. So I encourage you to lean into your personality. Um, don't be afraid to have fun with your essays. So I have loads more tips for writing your Common App and your supplements. And I'm really excited to announce that I am doing another run of my Common App essay class. The first run just finished. It was really fun, really successful with um, eight students in my class. We meet every week on Zoom for a total of six weeks, an hour per week in my Common App essay class. So the next one is gonna run from May to June and not only am I offering this Common App essay class, I'm also offering a supplements class. Now this one's new, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, same thing, capped at eight students. You'll get um, some one-on-one -on -one time with me throughout the, the four weeks or six weeks if you're doing the Common App essay class. And I just, it's just such an honor to like discover together with a class of students like what your passions are and how to present yourself in a genuine way way to the admissions officers that also doesn't bore them to death. So it's just really fun. Like I really enjoy teaching this class. And if that is something you are interested in, fill out the form down below and I will get back to you. So hit subscribe for more tips and tricks and I will see you guys next time. Bye.